Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. We are on section 42 of the raw material. And these next couple of sessions are big ones. Uh, we, we go through a lot of different topics in just these two um, sessions here. So you might want to listen to it a couple of times, but I'm going to try and help you guys um, at least get an idea of what Ra is talking about in this next session. Because ye, Ra talks about learned teaching a lot and duality and and the experiences that we are going through between third and fourth density. So if you guys haven't uh, already watched my video, my intermission video about what it's going to be like in fourth density comparatively to the third, I really suggest you watch that. So in moving on in these sections, if you get a couple of the basics down about what Ra is talking about, it becomes more clear. So Ra talks about balancing, he talks about learned teaching, and what that basically means is that we are choosing to come here in third density, not necessarily because we have to, but because we want to. We want to um, expand. The whole point of everything is expansion of, of the infinite creator, which we're all part of. So. And, the, and how we do that is to be reincarnated here over and over again and to learn the duality of all the learned teachings. And so when we find out or when we learn that, well, if we can get reincarnated here and we're choosing to be here, why would we choose to be here and suffer in these lifetimes? You know, he talked about, you know, the suffering that sometimes goes on in Africa with the starvation and things like that. And the example that I usually um, give people when I get asked this question is it's all about soul expansion and grad and being able to learn and teach enough that we can graduate into fourth density and then to fifth density and, and so on. And the only way we can do that through soul expansion is to learn duality of everything that there is to know in this density. And in order to do that, you you have to know what suffering is, just like you have to know what luxury is, you know. So um, the way we kind of go about this is say, for an example, um, you would have something called soul contracts. So, you know, all of us souls, we kind of group together a little bit. Um, as we go through these densities and we and we meet each other over and over again in different lives and we would have something called a soul contract so say if you're you know you have a soul contract with another another entity and you have one lifetime where one is a mother and the other is a daughter and say that daughter gets childhood cancer and dies and the mother has to go through that and experience it. It would be major soul expansion. And the thing is with that same soul contract, they would return and this time they would switch roles where the other one would be the mother and, and the one that was the mother before would now be the daughter that gets cancer. So that's just like an example of balance about the duality that we're trying to understand and the learned teaching that Ra keeps talking about over and over again. And so we're doing this through third and fourth density. But the thing that's different with fourth density is that we can really understand and feel other people's uh, emotions. And the questioners are trying to um, kind of guide their way through this to figure out, well, at what point does it change where say you see someone suffering? Now, are you gonna help them because your thoughts are telling you that this is the right thing to do? Or are you gonna help them because you actually feel and suffer the same way that they do. And of course, you can't help but go in and assist. And that is one one thing that Ra was trying to kind of make clear about the change that's going to happen in fourth density. And, you know, Ra continually goes back to this about um, kind of like the law of attraction, how we can focus our thoughts in order to change things. And it really doesn't matter what we focus our thoughts on as long as we do it in a way that um, is like an individually 
to us, you know, like different religions, it, you know, some religions need to uh, pray and focus on like loving Jesus. And some religions need to, you know, focus and feeling love with Buddha. And Ross trying to tell us that it really doesn't matter what or how you focus, like even like, you know, all of all of those focusings will work. Um, according to the individual, the law of attraction works. Like that's why, you know, all religions work, witchcraft works. It's whatever one that you focus properly on, you can manifest. And, and Ra was trying to get that point across. So I'm going to leave it there. We're going to get right into it and I will see you, um, at the end of this video and we'll talk about, um, section 43, which has just as much information in it. Okay. Please enjoy. Let's get into it. The Law of One, Book Two, Session 42, March 22, 1981. Ra, I am Ra. I greet you in the love and in the light of the one infinite creator. We communicate now. Questioner, I am going to make a statement and ask you to comment on its degree of accuracy. I am assuming that the balanced entity would not be swayed either towards positive or negative emotions by any situation which he might confront. By remaining unemotional in any situation, the balanced entity may clearly discern the appropriate and necessary responses in harmony with the law of one for each situation. Is this correct? Ra, I am Ra. This is an incorrect application of the balancing which we have discussed. The exercise of first experiencing feelings and then consciously discovering their antitheses within the being has as its objective not the smooth flow of feelings both positive and negative while remaining unswayed but rather the objective of becoming unswayed. This is a simpler result and takes much practice, shall we say. The catalyst of experience works in order for the learned teachings of this density to occur. However, if there is seen in the being a response, even if it is simply observed, the entity is still using the catalyst for learned teaching. The end result is that the catalyst is no longer needed. Thus this density is no longer needed. This is not indifference or objectivity but a finely tuned compassion and love which sees all things as love. This seeing elicits no response due to catalytic reactions. Thus the entity is now able to become co-creator of experiential occurrences. This is the truer balance. Questioner, I will attempt to make an analogy. If an animal, shall I say, a bull, in a pen attacks you because you have wandered into his pen, you get out of his way rapidly but you do not blame him. You do not have much of an emotional response other than the response that he might damage you. However, if you encounter another self in his territory and he attacks you, your response may be more of an emotional nature creating physical bodily responses. Am I correct in assuming that when your response to the animal and to the other self is that of seeing both as creator and loving both and understanding their action and attacking you is the action of their free will then you have balanced yourself correctly in this area? Is this correct? Ra, I am Ra. This is basically correct. However, the balanced entity will see in the seeming attack of another self the causes of this action which are, in most cases, of a more complex nature than the cause of the attack of the second density bull as was your example. Thus this balanced entity would be open to many more opportunities for service to a third density other self. Questioner, would a perfectly balanced entity feel any emotional response in being attacked by the other self? Ra, I am Ra. This is correct. The response is love. Questioner, in the illusion that we now experience it is difficult to maintain this response especially if the attack results in physical pain, but I assume that this response should be maintained even through physical pain or loss of life. Is this correct? Ra, I am Ra. This is correct and further is of a major or principal importance in understanding, shall we say, the principle of balance. Balance is not indifference but rather the observer not blinded by any feelings of separation but rather fully imbued with love. Questioner. In the last session you made the statement that we, that is Ra, spent much time space in the fifth density balancing the intense compassion that we had gained in the fourth density. Could you expand on this concept with respect to the material you just discussed? Ra, I am Ra. The fourth density, as we have said, abounds in compassion. This compassion is folly when seen through the eyes of wisdom. It is the salvation of third density but creates a mismatch in the ultimate balance of the entity. Thus we, as a social memory complex of fourth density, had the tendency towards compassion even to martyrdom and aid of other selves. When the fifth density harvest was achieved we found that in this vibratory level flaws could be seen in the efficacy of such unrelieved compassion. We spent much time space in contemplation of those ways of the creator which imbue love with wisdom. 
Questioner, I would like to try to make an analogy for third density of this concept. Many entities here feel great compassion for relieving the physical problems of third density other selves by administering to them in many ways, with food if there is hunger as there is now in the African nations. By bringing them medicine if they feel that there is a need to minister to them medically, and being selfless in all of these services to a very great extent. This is creating a vibration that is in harmony with green ray or fourth density but it is not balanced with the understanding of fifth density that these entities are experiencing catalysts and a more balanced administration to their needs would be to provide them with the learning necessary to 90. Reach the state of awareness of fourth density than it would be to minister to their physical needs at this time. Is this correct? Ra, I am Ra. This is incorrect. To a mind-body-spirit complex which is starving, the appropriate response is the feeding of the body. You may extrapolate from this. On the other hand, however, you are correct in your assumption that the green ray response is not as refined as that which has been imbued with wisdom. This wisdom enables the entity to appreciate its contributions to the planetary consciousness by the quality of its being without regard to activity or behavior which expects results upon visible planes. Questioner, then why do we have the extreme starvation problem in, generally, the area of Africa at this time? Is there any metaphysical reason for this, or is it purely random? Ra, I am Ra. Your previous assumption was correct as to the catalytic action of this starvation and ill health. However, it is within the free will of an entity to respond to this plight of other selves. And the offering of the needed foodstuffs and substances is an appropriate response within the framework of your learned teachings at this time which involve the growing sense of love for and service to other selves. Questioner, what is the difference in terms of energy center activation between a person who represses emotional responses to emotionally charged situations and the person who is balanced and, therefore, truly unswayed by emotionally charged situations? Ra, I am Ra. This query contains an incorrect assumption. To the truly balanced entity no situation would be emotionally charged. With this understood, we may say the following. The repression of emotions depolarizes the entity insofar as it then chooses not to use the catalytic action of the space-time present in a spontaneous manner, thus dimming the energy centers. There is, however, some polarization towards positive if the cause of this repression is consideration for other selves. The entity which has worked long enough with the catalyst to be able to feel the catalyst but not find it necessary to express reactions is not yet balanced but suffers no deep polarization due to the transparency of its experiential continuum. Thus the gradual increase in the ability to observe one's reaction and to know the self will bring the self ever closer to a true balance. Patience is requested and suggested, for the catalyst is intense upon your plane and its use must be appreciated over a period of consistent learned teaching. Questioner, how can a person know when he is unswayed by an emotionally charged situation or if he is repressing the flow of emotions, or if he is in balance and truly unswayed? Ra, I am Ra. We have spoken to this point. Therefore, we shall briefly iterate that to the balanced entity no situation has an emotional charge but is simply a situation like any other in which the entity may or may not observe an opportunity to be of service. The closer an entity comes to this attitude the closer an entity is to balance. You may note that it is not our recommendation that reactions to catalysts be repressed or suppressed unless such reactions would be a stumbling block not consonant with the law of one to another self. It is far far better to allow the experience to express itself in order that the entity may then make fuller use of this catalyst. Questioner, how can an individual assess what energy centers within its being are activated and in no immediate need of attention and which energy centers are not activated and are in need of immediate attention? Ra, I am Ra. The thoughts of an entity, its feelings or emotions, and least of all its behavior are the signposts for the teaching learning of self by self. In the analysis of one's experiences of a diurnal cycle an entity may assess what it considers to be inappropriate thoughts, behaviors, feelings, and emotions. In examining these inappropriate activities of mind, body, and spirit complexes the entity may then place these distortions in the proper vibrational ray and thus see where work is needed. Questioner, in the last session you said, that when the self is conscious to a great enough extent of the workings of the catalyst of fasting, and the techniques of programming. It then may through concentration of the will and the faculty of faith alone cause reprogramming without the analogy of fasting, diet, or other analogous bodily complex disciplines. What are the techniques of programming which the higher self uses to ensure that the desired lessons are learned or attempted by the third density self? Ra, I am Ra. There is but one technique for this growing or nurturing of will and faith, and that is the focusing of the attention. 
The attention span of those you call children is considered short. The spiritual attention span of most of your peoples is that of the child. Thus it is a matter of wishing to become able to collect one's attention and hold it upon the desired programming. This, when continued, strengthens the will. The entire activity can only occur when there exists faith that an outcome of this discipline is possible. Questioner, can you mention some exercises for helping to increase the attention span? Ra, I am Ra. Such exercises are common among the many mystical traditions of your entities. The visualization of a shape and color which is of personal inspirational quality to the meditator is the heart of what you would call the religious aspects of this sort of visualization. The visualization of simple shapes and colors which have no innate inspirational quality to the entity form the basis for what you may call your magical traditions. Whether you image the rose or the circle is not important. However, it is suggested that one or the other path towards visualization be chosen in order to exercise this faculty. This is due to the careful arrangement of shapes and colors which have been described as visualizations by those steeped in the magical tradition. Questioner, as a youth I was trained in the engineering sciences which include the necessity for three-dimensional visualization for the processes of design. Would this be helpful as a foundation for the type of visualization which you are speaking of, or would it be of no value? Ra, I am Ra. To you, the questioner, this experience was valuable. To a less sensitized entity it would not gain the proper increase of concentrative energy. Questioner, then the less sensitized entity should use what should he use for the proper energy? Ra, I am Ra. In the less sensitized individual the choosing of personally inspirational images is appropriate whether this inspiration be the rose which is of perfect beauty, the cross which is of perfect sacrifice, the Buddha which is the all-being in one, or whatever else may inspire the individual. Questioner, using the teach-learning relationship of parent to child, what type of actions would demonstrate the activation of the energy centers in sequence from red to violet? Ra, I am Ra. This shall be the last full query of this working. The entity, child or adult, as you call it, is not an instrument to be played. The appropriate teach-learning device of parent to child is the open-hearted beingness of the parent and the total acceptance of the beingness of the child. This will encompass whatever material the child entity has brought into the life experience in this plane. There are two things especially important in this relationship other than the basic acceptance of the child by the parent. Firstly, the experience of whatever means the parent uses to worship and give thanksgiving to the one infinite creator, should if possible be shared with the child entity upon a daily basis, as you would say. Secondly, the compassion of parent to child may well be tempered by the understanding that the child entity shall learn the biases of service to others or service to self from the parental other self. This is the reason that some discipline is appropriate in the teach learning. This does not apply to the activation of any one energy center for each entity is unique and each relationship with self and other self double unique. The guidelines given are only general for this reason. Is there a brief query before we leave this instrument? Questioner, is there anything that we can do to make the instrument more comfortable or to improve the contact? Ra, I am Ra. The instrument is well. I leave you, my friends, in the love and the light of the infinite creator. Go forth, then. Rejoicing in the power and the peace of the one infinite creator. Adonai. The Law of One, Book 2, Session 43 March 24, 1981. Ra, I am Ra. I greet you in the love and in the light of the one infinite creator. Before we communicate may we request the adjustment, without the touching of this instrument's physical body complex, of the item which presses upon the instrument's head. This is causing some interference with our contact. Questioner, is that the pillow or something else? Do you speak of the pillow under the neck? Ra, I am Ra. There is a line of interference crossing the crown of the head. Questioner, is it this? A two-inch fold in the sheet is located three inches from the crown of the instrument's head and is laid flat on the bed. Is that it? Ra, I am Ra. This is correct. Please increase the distance from the crown of the head. Questioner, ruffles in the sheet are smoothed all along the length of the sheet next to the instrument's head. Is this satisfactory? Ra, I am Ra. Yes. Questioner, I am sorry that we failed to notice that. Ra, we communicate now. Questioner, I don't know if it is of any importance, but it occurred to me that the parts removed from the cattle mutilations are the same every time, and I wondered if this is related to the energy centers and why they were important if that was so. Ra, I am Ra. This is basically correct if you may understand that there is a link between energy centers and various thought forms. 
Thus the fears of the mass consciousness create the climate for the concentration upon the removal of bodily parts which symbolize areas of concern or fear in the mass consciousness. Questioner, are you saying, then, that these parts that are removed are related to the mass consciousness of the third density human form and that this fear is being used in some way by the thought form entities in these mutilations? Ra, I am Ra. This is correct. The thought form entities feed upon fear, thus they are able to do precise damage according to systems of symbology. The other second density types of which you speak need the, what you call, blood. Questioner, these other second density types need the blood to remain in the physical? Do they come in and out of our physical from one of the lower astral planes? Ra, I am Ra. These entities are, shall we say, creatures of the Orion group. They do not exist in astral planes as do the thought forms but wait within the Earth's surface. We, as always, remind you that it is our impression that this type of information is unimportant. Questioner, I agree with you wholeheartedly, but I sometimes am at a loss before investigation into an area as to whether it is going to lead to a better understanding. This just seemed to be related somehow to the energy centers which we had been speaking of. I am going to make a statement and have you comment on it for its correctness. The statement is, when the creator's light is split or divided into colors and energy centers for experience, then in order to reunite with the Creator the energy centers must be balanced exactly the same as the split light was as it originated from the Creator. Is this correct? Ra, I am Ra. To give this query a simple answer would be nearly impossible. We shall simplify by concentrating upon what we consider to be the central idea towards which you are striving. We have, many times now, spoken about the relative importance of balancing as opposed to the relative unimportance of maximal activation of each energy center. The reason is as you have correctly surmised. Thusly the entity is concerned, if it be upon the path of positive harvestability, with the regularizing of the various energies of experience. Thus the most fragile entity may be more balanced than one with extreme energy and activity in service to others due to the fastidiousness with which the will is focused upon the use of experience in knowing the self. The densities beyond your own give a minimally balanced individual much time space and space time with which to continue to refine these inner balances. Questioner, in the next density, the fourth density, is the catalyst of physical pain used as a mechanism for experiential balancing? Ra, I am Ra. The use of physical pain is minimal, having only to do with the end of the fourth density incarnation. This physical pain would not be considered severe enough to treat, shall we say, in third density. The catalysts of mental and spiritual pain are used in fourth density. Questioner, why is physical pain a part of the end of fourth density? Ra, I am Ra. You would call this variety of pain weariness. Questioner, can you state the average lifespan in the fourth density of space-time incarnation? Ra, I am Ra. The space-time incarnation typical of harmonious fourth density is approximately 90,000 of your years as you measure time. Questioner, are there multiple incarnations in fourth density with time-space experiences in between incarnations? Ra, I am Ra. This is correct. Questioner, how long is a cycle of experience in fourth density in our years? Ra, the cycle of experience is approximately 30 million of your years if the entities are not capable of being harvested sooner. There is in this density a harvest which is completely the function of the readiness of the social memory complex. It is not structured as is your own, for it deals with a more transparent distortion of the one infinite creator. Questioner then the big difference in harvestability between third and fourth density is that at the end of the third density the individual is harvested as a function of individual violet ray. But it is the violet ray for the entire social memory complex that must be of a harvestable nature to graduate to the fifth density. Is this correct? Ra, I am Ra. This is correct although in fifth density entities may choose to learn as a social memory complex or as mind-body-spirit complexes and may graduate to sixth density under these conditions. For the wisdom density is an extremely free density whereas the lessons of compassion leading to wisdom necessarily have to do with other selves. Questioner, then is sixth density harvest strictly of a social memory complex nature because again we have wisdom and compassion blended back using wisdom? Ra, I am Ra. This is quite correct. Questioner, the physical vehicle that is used in fourth density space-time is, I am assuming, quite similar to the one that is now used in third density. Is this correct? Ra, I am Ra. The chemical elements used are not the same. However, the appearance is similar. Questioner, is it necessary to eat food in fourth density? Ra, I am Ra. This is correct. Questioner, the mechanism of, 
shall we say, social catalyst due to a necessity for feeding the body than is active in fourth density. Is this correct? Ra, I am Ra. This is incorrect. The fourth density being desires to serve in the preparation of foodstuffs is extremely simple due to increased communion between entity and living foodstuff. Therefore, this is not a significant catalyst but rather a simple precondition of the space-time experience. The catalyst involved is the necessity for the ingestion of foodstuffs. This is not considered to be of importance by fourth density entities and it, therefore, aids in the teach learning of patients. Questioner, could you expand a little bit on how that aids in the teach learning of patients? Ra, I am Ra. To stop the functioning of service to others long enough to ingest foodstuffs is to invoke patience. Questioner, I'm guessing that it is not necessary to ingest foodstuffs in fifth density. Is this correct? Ra, I am Ra. This is incorrect. However, the vehicle needs food which may be prepared by thought. Questioner, what type of food would this be? Ra, I am Ra. You would call this type of food, nectar or ambrosia, or a light broth of golden white hue. Questioner, what is the purpose of ingesting food in fifth density? Ra, I am Ra. This is a somewhat central point. The purpose of space-time is the increase in catalytic action appropriate to the density. One of the preconditions for space-time existence is some form of body complex. Such a body complex must be fueled in some way. Questioner, in third density the fueling of our bodily complex is not only simply fueling of the bodily complex but gives us opportunities to learn service. In fourth density it not only fuels the complex but gives us opportunities to learn patience. In fifth density it fuels the complex but does it teach? Ra, I am Ra. In fifth density it is comfort for those of like mind gathered together to share in this broth, thus becoming one in light and wisdom while joining hearts and hands in physical activity. Thus in this density it becomes a solace rather than a catalyst for learning. Questioner, I am simply trying to trace the evolution of this catalyst that then, as you say, changes in fifth density. I might as well complete this and ask if there is any ingestion of food in sixth density? Ra, I am Ra. This is correct. However, the nature of this food is that of light and is impossible to describe to you in any meaningful way as regards the thrust of your query. Questioner, on this planet after the harvest is complete, will fourth density beings be incarnate on the surface as we know it now? Ra, I am Ra. The probability possibility vortices indicate this to be most likely. Questioner, then will there be at that time any fifth density or sixth density beings on the surface of the planet? Ra, I am Ra. Not for a fairly long measure of your time as fourth density beings need to spend their learned teaching space time with their own densities entities. Questioner, then basically what you are saying is that at that point the teachings of fifth or sixth density beings would not be too well understood by the new fourth density beings? Ra, I am Ra. Do you wish to query us upon this point? Questioner, I guess I didn't state that correctly. Would the new fourth density beings then need to evolve in their thinking to reach a point where fifth density lessons would be of value? Ra, I am Ra. We grasp the thrust of your query. Although it is true that as fourth density beings progress they have more and more need for other density teachings, it is also true that just as we speak to you due to the calling, so the information called is always available. It is simply that fifth density beings will not live upon the surface of the planetary sphere until the planet reaches fifth density vibratory level. Questioner, I was wondering, then, if the mechanism of teach learning was the same relatively then in fourth density. From what you say, it is necessary first for a call to exist for the teach learning of fifth density to be given to fourth just as a call must exist here before fourth density lessons are given to third density. Is this correct? Ra, I am Ra. This query is misguided, for experience in fourth density is emphatically not the same as third density experience. However, it is correct that the same mechanism of calling predisposes the information received in a way consonant with free will. You may ask one more full question at this working. Questioner, you stated that the key to strengthening the will is concentration. Can you tell me the relative importance of the following aids to concentration? I have listed, silence, temperature control, comfort of body, Screening as a Faraday cage would screen electromagnetic radiation, visible light screening, and a constant smell such as the use of incense. In other words, an isolation type of situation. You mentioned that this was one of the functions of the pyramid. Ra, I am Ra. The analogies of body complex to mind and spirit complex activities have been discussed previously. You may consider all of these aforementioned aids as those helpful to the stimulation of that which in actuality aids concentration. 
that being the will of the entity. This free will may be focused at any object or goal. Questioner, I was really trying to get at whether it would be of great importance to construct a better place for our meditations. We have distractions here of the types which I mentioned, and I know that it is a function of our total free will as to whether we construct this or not. But I was trying to get at the principles behind and the relative importance of the Faraday cage. It would be quite a construction and I was wondering if it would be of any real value? Ra, I am Ra. Without infringing upon free will we feel it possible to state that the Faraday cage and the isolation tank are gadgets. The surrounding of self in a sylvan atmosphere, apart from distractions, in a place of working used for no other purpose, in which you and your associates agree to lay aside all goals but that of the meditative seeking of the infinite creator is, shall we say, not gadgetry but the making use of the creation of the father and second density love, and in the love and support of other selves. Are there any brief queries before this working is at an end? Questioner, is there anything that we can do to make the instrument more comfortable or to improve the contact? Ra, I am Ra. All is well. I leave you in the love and the light of the one infinite creator. Go forth, therefore, rejoicing in the power and the peace of the one infinite creator. Adonai. Okay, that was a really intense session. Um, in part seven, I talked a little bit about um, how long it takes to transition between third density and fourth density. And that was like 100 to 700 years. But the amount of time that we, by the time we get all the way into fourth density, it's going to be like 90,000 years um, in our years. So, you know, the densities, as we go through them, they can take a really long time and third density is the shortest, but yet the most important of all the densities that we're going through. And by the time we get to like fifth density, we're going to spend like 30 million years there. So these things are long. And what Ra was trying to talk about is the, is the fact that to be in fifth density, you don't actually have to be incarnated here on earth in a physical body because you can do the learned teachings by almost like just being a straight observer in like spirit form, like being a spirit guide to, you know, other souls, like basically here on earth. And you would be able to graduate into sixth density by just doing that. If you choose, you know, others will choose to actually be incarnated here the entire time if they choose. Um, and it's like, it's all by choice about what you want to do. And Ra was trying to kind of get that across to I think the questioners and I found it really interesting you know the different um, food that we will need to to, to eat or uh, nourish ourselves um, in the higher densities I thought was really interesting um, but we do you know like if you have a body you need to eat um, even though you're all the way into fifth density you almost like um, through manifestation, you would be able to focus your thoughts and actually, um, you know, manifest a nice like light bowl of soup that everyone would share together. I thought was really interesting. I'm like, it's like, okay, I guess we're, we're doing that in a few million years. And then by the time you get to sixth density, you really just don't have um, the kind of body that needs to be incarnated. You are light and love so you get nourished by light um, is by the time we get to that sixth density so this that was just really interesting um, when he really talks basically about the spirit guides when we don't have an actual body and we're moving through fifth density we're we're kind of um, observing others and we can actually help by being a spirit guide to those that are still in fourth density um, and 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 still learn and teach uh, what we need to um, by observing so that's what Ra talked a little bit about and guys I really suggest that you listen to these last two sessions a couple of times just because there's so much in there and the complexity of um, what Ra is trying to say um, and the questioners trying to get a hold like this is this was so new to them uh, the first time when they were doing these questions it would be really hard to navigate um, to get to the, the basis of what Ra is talking about and trying to let us 
understand what the law of one is and and what it means and we're, we're getting there I'm going to do a video uh, later on another intermission about like me explaining the law of one and what it actually means so stay tuned for that but uh, let's let's keep moving here we're going to get into the next sessions we are going into session 44 so I will see you in the next video